So this is the current state of the control box for a five-dimensional um, focusing system. Um, basically, the camera sits on top of three slide rails um, and can be moved in the X, Y and Z planes. Uh, and there's the facility to add a rotary table and also a system for yawing the camera. Uh, the current state of play is this. The control box is complete and has a uh, rotary encoder driven menu system currently sitting on the main menu. But just by rotating the control here, you can go to jog, uh, rotate, uh, shoot, uh, flash, shoot and flash, motor choice. So you can choose whether you're driving the X, Y, Z or A and B motors uh, and a distance multiplier. This is the thing that controls the sensitivity of the rotary encoder with respect to the values that are entered in other menus. So now if we just go back to the uh, stack menu, if we click the rotary encoder, we can choose the direction for motion, forward or reverse, go back to forward. Um, we can choose the number of photos that we want. So if we increase the number of photos to say 10 and choose it, um, we can increase the distance up to any value that we wish. But let's just do say, a millimeter um, and we can have a delay in which the movement is allowed to settle before the camera takes the picture. Let's choose a second and then we can have a delay during which the camera makes an exposure. Normally it's to be very short because most of these things will be done using a flash. So let's have a second. Then the camera displays this. I'm turning the motor on and I accept the values and then the um, system will begin to create the stack. And I don't know whether you can see in the background, um, here is the edge of the slider and it's actually moving as each photo is taken. Just let it complete this stack. and then the system will rewind when it takes the 10th picture. Now it's rewound and returns to the main menu. Uh, the next option is to jog. If we hit the jog button, um, we can now jog the system by increments. At the moment, the sensitivity is set to 10 and we can just jog the camera back and forth. Um, and then finally the multiplier, which is the only other option I'll show you at the present time. If we hit the distance multiplier thing, we can uh, change the sensitivity of the control. So we can set it say five, an increment of five per click. And then if we go back to stack and decide to create a stack, we'll accept forward. And we do the number of photos that always goes up in ones. That seems a rational thing to do. And now the distance goes up in fives like so, back and forth in increments of five. And so does the delay, uh, both delays. And so does um, all the other values in the other menu settings. So if we were to accept that, it will now start to carry out that stack. Obviously it's only moving a very tiny distance now, so you won't see the carriage move. And that's it. There are options on the side of the box um, here for incorporating a series of sensors and also for limit switches um, and obviously for firing the camera and flashes. There's a switch here to activate and deactivate the motor and an LED to indicate that the motor is active.